how to use a tool, an application that comes on your Mac, Mac to batch rename your photos. Um, this tool is called Automator. It's a nifty little tool that you'll hopefully learn to use. Um, I use it a lot um, with batch renaming and organizing my photos. Uh, the first place you need to go is where you store your photos. Um, I store my photos on my hard drive. My hard drive is located in the upper right corner of my, my Macintosh screen. Um, I'm going to double click that. Uh, I keep my photos on my user, uh, my user folder. So under Kim, I will have it in there. And then I have, it's actually labeled as well, so it's easy for me to find it. Uh, it's photographs and family. And then I have miscellaneous uh, files in here that just, you know, stuff that you need every day by day or things come and go. Um, but the one thing I do have is your photos. So I'm going to click on my year photos and then again, more miscellaneous stuff. And then also I have my year photos in here. And uh, these are all the ones that have been organized into the events that I need them in and have the months labeled on as well. And then I'm also, I'm going to go into 2014. I'm going to rename uh, a miscellaneous folder in here since I believe I have all the, all the photos in it that I need. Um, so, which is going to be, I'm going to be renaming the July Ropes Course folders folder here. So I'm going to pull this window to the left a little bit so I can see when I drag, when I get up um, the automator program, I can see both of the window screens at the same time. So I can work at the same time. So I'm going to put this off to the left a little bit. I only need to actually be able to see my folder uh, with my photo files in it and as my uh, and as well as my events folders. So the next thing we need to do is we need to bring up the automator program. One way you can do that is go up to your little magnifying and you can type in automator. You can do that. And this the little guy up here will will come up and you can double click on that. You can also, the other way is I use Automator a lot, so I have him down in my dock of all the, the little applications that I use quite a bit. So I'm going to click on him down here, and he'll come up. I'm going to keep this window to the right of my screen so I can see this, the application window, and then I can also see my folders window. And that allows me to move seamlessly between the application and the files. So what we're going to do is we are going to get the application on your right, the automaker, ready for us to, to bring in folders, to bring in the files, your, fo your photograph files. The first thing we need to do is we need to choose a type for the document. We're going to be working with workflow. And so what we're we do this little guy is highlighted. So what we'll go down is, is hit choose, and that gets us ready to click and choose variables and actions for this program. And again, we're gonna we're working with files and folders. So on the left column, we're gonna go down just a bit from the top, and we're gonna select that. And then the middle folder here with all the actions and variables changes just as a smidge, but not too much. And what we want to do is we're going to select a few of these items in here to help us change the batch, to help us change and do batch naming. The first one we are going to get, get specified, get specified finder items. We're going to click on this and we're going to drag it into the into the box. This this area is the action box where all all the stuff, all the the workflow stuff is going to happen, and you choose what you want to do in this big box. So we have get specified finder items, and then the other thing that we need to do is we are going to go down here more toward the bottom, and it says rename finder finder items. We're going to click on that, and we're going to drag that in in as well. 
So then uh, this at the get by specified finder items, this is where our our files are going to go. We're, we will eventually be dragging our for our files into this fold into this uh, box. But first of all, we need to get uh, the refinder names box uh, ready for it. So what we will do, we're going to click on the add date or time, the drop down menu there. And we're going to go down to make sequential. And in here it's the add number two. Not We're going to not do an existing name anymore. We are going to create a new name for these files uh, to make to, to um, make it consistent with the event that's in the event folder. Um, we're going to place number after the name and it's going to start with a one and that will be sequential from there and I'm going to separate it by a dash. If you drop down you can do period, space, underscore, I choose to do a dash. So we're going to do this. So now we are ready and we need to bring in our file, our files of the photos into the into the top box. So how we do that is we're going to go back to the left side of your screen where your photo files are and here I have them up here. I'm going to go down to the July ropes course. I'm going to select this and I'm going to get this ready to be uh, make it consistent with the top part here where it says 2014 July and, and the event. So what I need to do is I need to change this this name just a smidge. I'm going to make it 2014 dash July and dash ropes course. I'm going to also add Nick to that. You can also do 2014 dash July dash 07 or 07 dash July uh, and it will that will put your uh, folder in more sequential order. Some people prefer that. I, this doesn't bother me. I'm just happy I'm getting them organized. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I need to do is well, I need to find it up here. So I'm going to click on the events folder again. And so this brings up my files, my, my, my photo files. And there's a couple ways you can select your files. You can do a command A and that will automatically, it's a little shortcut, and that will automatically select all your files. The other way you can do it is if you click on your mouse and then drag your cursor over top of it, that will click and hold down. That will also select your files as well. So once you get all the files selected that you want, and also another good point to this is we want to only batch rename your A and B photos uh, so hopefully you have gone through and deleted all your unnecessary photos, the blurred uh, photos, the duplicates, um, and the ones that just uh, didn't come out too well. You want to get them out of there so you don't have to worry about finding them again and, or, and batch renaming them. So once you do that, we are going to click and drag those files into the automator application get specified finder items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag the five files in here and you'll see that there's a number five that's the amount of files you have and then you also have a plus sign with the green. That means we're all good to, to put into the into the box. And there you go. They are all in there. It tells you where they are located in your on your Mac and we are all ready to rename and down here uh, we have everything set make sequential oh we don't have everything set here we need to rename these here we go okay so what we do here is I'm going to name 2014 because that will automatically tell me when these photos were taken dash July because it will be the month and then I'm gonna put ropes course and Nick again and then they will all be followed by 1-1-2-3 okay we are ready to hit go so what we do now is this this interface is all set for you to change your photos <laughs> and my husband's texting me 
Okay, what we do up here is we're going to hit run, and you'll get a little sound. And then voila, over on the left-hand side where your files were, they automatically got renamed. Brooks course Nick 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And then when you want to do another batch, all you need to do is go back to the top box of Get Finder Items. And you can just click on one, and you can then hit uh, Command A for uh, Select All. And you can just hit Delete, or you can hit Remove right there. And that's easy. And then you can do the same thing to all the other files as you did with this one. Just remember that when you go down, uh, when you bring in other files, to rename them a different name. I hope that helped. Thanks a lot for coming.